What a time to be alive. Yesterday I reviewed the brand new Ping i500 and today I've got the Ping i210 iron. What's it all about? We're going to find out and we're going to do it now. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel, make sure you consider subscribing. I've got loads more content coming in the next few weeks and the next few months and the next few years. Hopefully, if you guys will still have me. Put the thumbs up if you're enjoying the videos and comment below. Let me know what you think of this review and also what you want to see next. Now let's get back to the review of Ping's brand new i210 iron. So Ping's brand new i210 iron is replacing Ping's old i200 iron come the 31st of July which is the day after my birthday so if you want to send cards and cake feel free however what's different because to be honest these things look so similar it's frightening what has changed under the hood if you want to see a comparison of these two clubs make sure to subscribe because I'm going to film one pretty much immediately after I've finished this video however I want to get the basic review of the Ping i210 out to you guys as soon as possible so I'm going to hit about a dozen shots on flight scope I've already hit a couple already and I'm going to tell you it feels good it's more traditionally lofted than a lot of irons that are coming out now so say the Ping i500 that's 29 30 degrees of loft this is 33 33 degrees of loft so a lot more traditional we should see a higher ball flight but again what's different between this and the i200 well, the face features more elastoma, which means it should feel a lot nicer and a hell of a lot softer than the previous generation i200. Looks wise, it's had a tiny revamp as you can see here. We've got a bit of a V in the back, much crisper looks on the Ping i210. The lines are a lot crisper, they're a lot sleeker, and they have removed the club number from the toe, which I've never understood anyway. The weight in the back also looks a tiny bit bigger, but how does it perform? I'm going to hit some shots on flight scope, we're going to talk through the numbers. We might as well do it now, haven't we? So as always, we're on the flight scope and I've got Titleist Pro V1 practice balls. Let's see what the numbers are saying. Straight away looking down at this club, it does look a little bit sleeker and the leading edge does seem that little bit more refined which for a player, you're really going to enjoy. So far, we can't complain consistency-wise, there's only about two yards between those numbers. Oh my god. I could pretty much round the review up here, because I've seen enough, but I really want to hit some more. Just like in the Ping i500 range, Ping are offering these in a power loft, which is a couple of degrees stronger, and also a retro loft, which is, you guessed it, a couple of degrees weaker. I really want to get my hands on some of these different lofts. I'd love to try a Ping i210 in the power loft, the standard loft, and the retro loft, and see what the differences are. It's a very good idea on Ping's part. I'm actually quite disappointed with those last two shots. <laughs> I put fantastic swings on them. And let's just talk through the numbers, shall we? So you can see here, carry average 164.8, we'll call that 165. Total in distance 175.8, we'll call that 176. Now the first three shots, I was really impressed with the consistency. I thought, oh my God, 170.0, 169.2, 170.1 total distances. <laughs> That's just outrageous consistency, it's fantastic. And then I started to step on the pedal a little bit. I started to put my foot down on the gas and it's just jumped up by kind of 10 yards. Now, yes, that is great, but it's not the consistency that I was hoping for. These numbers are quite similar to the i500. If you've seen my review on those, then you'll know. If you haven't done, I will put a link below. On that, if you're wanting to see a comparison between the i210, the i500, the g700, the iBlade, make sure to subscribe to the channel because it's all gonna be coming soon. Okay, so what did I think of Ping's brand new i210 iron? In fairness, I absolutely loved it. I was a little bit disappointed how some of the numbers jumped up, although I suppose I was hitting them a little bit harder 
that's going to be more pilot error. They do feel quite workable, they feel a lot more workable than the i500s that I reviewed just last night. Looks wise, I think they look fantastic, they haven't deviated too far from the Ping i200 which was a smashing looking club anyway. I will be doing a comparison between these two so make sure to subscribe if you want to see that. I suppose the overall thing is because they haven't deviated so far from the Ping i200 people are going to say well what's different about it and I must say it does feel better. It doesn't feel a different planet away, it doesn't feel a different club altogether but it does feel better, it definitely feels softer. I'm delving into differences here and I'm going to do a comparison so I'm going to leave that there. All in all, could I put the Ping i210 in my golf bag? 100% I absolutely can, to be honest I might even think about it because it felt fantastic and I still need to get rid of my Titleist blades. Guys, I'm James Robinson, I'm here at Huddersfield Golf Club I hope you've enjoyed that short review on the Ping i210 irons. If you have, make sure to subscribe. I've got quite a few comparisons coming in the next few weeks with Ping's new and old irons. Put your thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. See you soon.